Can we please have the two captains to set a rice for a ceremonial puck drop? And please welcome Jamie Weberg to the ice to drop the puck. As Jamie Weberg and his wife Kristen come to the ice to drop the puck is Brad McClure and Scott Davidson will take the ceremonial face off at center ice and a standing ovation here for Jamie Weber. Yeah, and uh, deservingly so. Obviously, he's going through a rough time right now, and there's been a ton of support throughout the community, which is great to see. And it's great to see what we uh, at center ice. Standing ovation for Jamie and his wife, Kristen. And we'll stay with John Brent, the public address announcer for our national anthem. And we'll have a first period faceoff. New floor. And now he battles for it, but it's gathered back by Basilico. Back in on left wing across the line to the middle. Now to Davidson, he scores. Bottom of the right circle. He roofs it on a nice feed from Davidson Basilico. found daylight up over his pads and into the back of the goal. What a shot by Davidson, though. And the V's down one to nothing as Trail gets a power play goal to start this v's game. Turn over the blue line. Noller scores from well out in the high slot. Low blocker side on Hunter Miska. And the V's are stunned here. The worst place team in the BCHL has a 2 0 lead. Over top Lucy. of the blocker side of Hunter Miska. It's not the way you want to come out after one minute timeout. And now you got a 2 0 goal against, as you mentioned, the worst team in the BCHL. It was Davidson at 10.52. Draw right circle comes to Hilderman on the wall. Works it back to the point now across for Beauvais in the left wing. Watched by Davidson, moves down, back behind the net, goes around the goal, wraparound scores! What an effort! Brett Beauvais, and the V's are on the board on the wraparound. Beauvais has his 12th, 16-44, they go in the third. The V's have cut the deficit in half, it's two to one. As he goes from the blocker side of Nickel to the glove side of Nickel and wraps it around. What a play by Beauvais. Let's see if this gives the V's a spark, now two to one. Crowd still trying to get in their seats after the intermission. Beauvais at 316 on the wraparound. Hitter for McClure. Chips it back in down the middle. Benoit takes it back and her scores! Tie game! Benoit on the rebound after McClure was stopped. Bangs it in on the blocker side. Capacity House is on their feet. Don't blink. It's 2 2 with 336 gone. Everyone saw this coming. Everybody saw two goals in the first four minutes of this period coming with the V's not having the two periods that they like. Get a goal from, from Beauvais, a beauty, and now Eric Benoit with the Ten same seconds. one. 10 seconds later. What a play by, Bo Davies. by Benoit. Davies can't clear Beauvais in the right circle. McClure, a wrist shot blocked in front as he spun to his forehand at the bottom of the right circle. Now Beauvais, top of the right circle, shoot, scores! Blocker of Nickel for the right circle. A power play goal. 5 14 gone. 3 2 for the good guys. Well, the midpoint, Alfred. Back to Pirog. Left goal line to Pork. Walks in front of his forehead. Scores! <laughs> Cody to Pork continues the onslaught. Power play goal with 10. Oh, three gone. Jam play. He buries on the blocker side. Four, two V's. Great puck movement by the V's on the outside. And when DePort gets this puck down below the goal line, he just works it out in front. An awful defensive play by Trail to let DePort come from the corner of his own, or from the, the corner benches. of the offense. Knocked back to the V's bench. Muscled back in by Schartz on right wing with five seconds left. Goes back behind the net. Davidson, one last chance. Miska, a nice save of the buzzer. And the whistle goes after a scramble in the crease. V's win it here, four to two, and everybody grabs a partner at the buzzer. Bit of a scrum, and it quickly disperses after Miska makes an excellent save on Volpe at the buzzer in the crease. 
V's in the third period rally to remember. Four goals in the third.